Hello, Bitter here. Today I'm going to be doing a demo of a GNOME shell on the PinePhone Pro. It has come with two versions by now. It's been at least in um, development for a year or two now. Um, it's made some big headway and it's, um, it's an interesting take. It's similar to Fosh, but it's not. They both use a lot of the same components because they're both based on GNOME libraries. Uh, for example, the settings is exactly the same, but they take a little few different uh, approaches to everything. I just want to remind everyone this really isn't ready for normal people yet. It's missing a lot of things for me particularly because the, it's also using the squeak board on this. And so I does not have any type of typing recommendations, which means you can't really enter a Japanese, Chinese or anything else where if you don't have some kind of type ahead to put in what you want, you can't really type it at all. On this phone, I currently have post market OS version 2312. It's the newest as of uh, around uh, June 12th. All right, if none of that really scared you, let's take a look at this and I'll show you everything that's here. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Gnome's shell on the Pine Phone Pro. Now notice the login looks a lot like you'd see on a computer. You click it and you get a keyboard screen. It's an on-screen keyboard, but it's not the normal phone uh, key pass login. Now, just like uh, most of the other OS's that you do now, it's just the left-hand keys, which you can't really tell here because it's a normal keyboard. It's what's one, four, seven, one, four, seven. And we are in. And it's very slow, very slow, very slow. Okay, <clears throat> now notice the apps here are most of the apps you'd expect from uh, Fosh. In fact, I would say a lot of them are exactly the same. The really real difference is the shell. You swipe up, does nothing. You can type to search. Music, let's try music. Music lollipop sh pops up, so that's good and a bunch of other recommendations about clocks. No idea why. You swipe down, you see a lot of different options for uh, the state of your phone. Auto rotate, do not disturb, airplane mode. You click them, they do seem to work. Dark style, power mode balanced, night light. Not doing anything, okay. Nothing from the night light. Uh, that does work on Fosh. It did rotate though. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, no available or connected devices. I'm guessing the Bluetooth driver isn't working. I am connected to my Wi-Fi. Brightness seems to work. This might be a little bit too bright. This works too. Battery 100% because I'm charging. Looks like I can take a screenshot of anything. That's kind of nice. A widget tool to hopefully bring up the settings. And it's in the background for some reason, but it's there. Lock, power, suspend, restart, power off. It feels like I'm looking at a PC. Lock just brings me back to the lock screen, I think. Yes. Now that was a pretty funky transition. Oh, this looks like a normal lock, sc lock screen. Okay. Swipe up, swipe, swipe up, please. There we go, okay. Oh, this is a normal keyboard. So like I said before, it, it and there's emergency contact down there at the bottom, that's interesting. All right, uh, 147, 147, and I'm back in. Okay, you just swipe up to close any programs you have open. This is fairly nice. Actually, I think Fosh might be nicer now. <laughs> all right, let's go through all the applications one by one that, that are here. When you first start the app, you're, you are brought to the welcome screen. Uh, obviously this is Post market OS 2312. Can you swipe left? Okay, it does work. Uh, GNOME shell and mobile. Linux for few, uh, I can't scroll down easily. That's kind of tricky. Look at that frame rate. Um, duh, gives you a bunch of developer stuff, warning you that this isn't norm for normal users. And then you can start using the OS, <laughs> enable SSH. So that starts when you first install it. Let's go to contacts. 
cloud rest book on this computer. Apparently this is now a computer. Did it just crash? Okay, no, it didn't, it just closed. So apparently when the windows close, it does things. Uh, let's go to fish. Uh, fish, no at symbol by default. At fish.com. Uh, that should be good enough. Yay, I have a contact now. Um, no apps. Oh, that's kind of fancy. Find more in App Store. Uh, <laughs> X scheme handler mail to. No apps found. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Now I have two apps open. Let's go to the clock. Adderall clock. Uh, I currently reside in Tokyo. Tokyo. And it pops up. That's not too bad. I have an alarm. Kind of, oh, kind of ios -y. That's not too crazy. Let's do a stopwatch. Oh, I can't go to the next tab without canceling. Stopwatch, start. Without the two digits, it's actually kind of boring looking at the stopwatch. I never expected that. I don't wonder what the close does here. Keyboard shortcuts, uh, same as Mac. Gnome does not like it. Ooh, that's kind of large. <laughs> I can drag the window around. And then the timer. Let's do a timer to see if it works. So three seconds. Well, that's not going to get me up in the morning. And, uh, oh, you drag left to get rid of it. I guess if you close, it'll probably... Re Close it, yes. Uh, calendar or calculator. Three times one times three equals three. Uh, I don't know why the keyboard's open right now. That's not particularly helpful. Ooh. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, perfect. Settings. So this is exactly the same as Fosh. We're using exactly the same uh, because it was at lid touch. It allows them to make this flexible for smaller screens. Um, absolutely no differences. Right now I'm on power. Let's unplug this for a minute. Let's see how much power it has on, on its recommendations. My visible networks. Mobile network. I am not connected to anything. So that makes sense. Bluetooth. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Appearance. Wow, this is all kind of slow. Oh, that's nice. Can I switch to dark? Can I switch to dark? Should I wait? Okay, it worked. Okay, I'm in back dark mode now. That's kind of nice. Um, notifications. Oh, it's separate by app. That's kind of nice. Search. The global search from GNOME. Multitasking. This looks like it's made for a mouse. Apps. Not a lot on here. Privacy. Okay, so permit. Okay, so everything can use that camera. Online accounts, I'm not gonna use this. IMAP, Microsoft, uh, the general suspects. Sharing. That's not what I expected in the sharing tab, remote desktop. Sound. We get different volumes per app. I guess that's pretty normal now. Uh, power. According to this, I get just over three and a half hours on a full charge. This is a few, few years old now, which 
That's actually better than it used to be. I used to be die pretty quickly. That's actually a huge improvement. Displays. Well, now I know the resolution. What the heck is, oh, I bet that. Oh, that is the temperature of the screen. They've made a lot of progress on this on doing features that aren't based on what I use. Mouse and touchpad. <clears throat> I do not, I'm gonna test this later, um, if it will actually work when connected to a monitor. Keyboard, this looks to do the layouts. Japanese does not work. This is the same. Printers. Interesting. Removable media. <laughs> CD. <laughs> Who's connecting a CD to this? Gotta watch my DVDs color. Okay, it's a laptop screen apparently. Region, language, I assume this works. Unspecified AC, yes, CIA. Okay. Okay. Users, this should be just the default user, Linux user. Default apps, nothing is set. Date and time. Interesting. Okay. And about PinePhone Pro, that's the Postmark OS 2312. Memory, system details, software updates. <clears throat> Man, I hate Wayland. That's the only reason why I don't have a working keyboard here. At least I feel that way. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to Image Viewer. It's cute. I assume it works. But there's no camera app on uh, this GNOME shell, so I can't really test it very easily anyway. Got a console. Oh, nice, you get the tab, control, and alt, so it's somewhat usable. Calls. Looks pretty generic. I hear it's still kind of touchy for calls. But the other note is um, I've used the, the speakers on the PinePhone Pro are garbage. They're little tinny things. Um, they are worse than even if you get a free uh, a free Android phone. So I actually don't really recommend it. Chat. I'm going to assume this is nice. And I can't really add in person. I assume this only works for text, not something like iPhone stuff, where it combines them. Uh, Firefox ESR. Fire, fire, ooh, it, and it crashed, okay. Carlander, I assume this is a KDE calendar app, I guess. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. Temple is nice. And there is some GPS button that I'm not sure what it's for. Sync, okay. This can only be so bad. Let's see, create new. Okay, this lets me create something. Where's the, can I, okay, I can drag to get rid of that. That's nice. Um, how do I add this? Go, there it is on the bottom. Save, 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 it's not doing anything. I have no idea why. It has a weird spinner right here. Okay, we're giving up on that. Hey, we got some maps now, we can scroll them. Lollipop, I haven't used this. Um, I'm sure if you have some music on your drive, this fails exactly the same way everywhere. I don't know what scan disabled missing collection means. But I'm sure it's a fine music player. Portfolio. Oh, it's just the whole hard drive. Okay, pretty standard file layout. Software. See if you can do an update. I uh, guess updates. It says it's up to date. I don't know if I actually trust that. I also don't know what that actually means. 
software repositories. Yeah, I don't, okay, there's a refresh button. Let's try that. Loading updates, this could take a while. Oh, I got something. And it disappeared. All right, let's come back to this. After we find out if uh, the other apps work. We'll see how well this breaks things. All right, we got an app. Titles automatically. I guess this is a little bit more usable. Why is Firefox open now? What just happened? Okay. Okay, Firefox apparently just opened. Can I, can I save? Say open. What is this? Oh, oh, okay. It just became half height. Maybe it's in here. There we go, save. Um, kind of a weird screen. Let's see if it appeared. Portfolio, home. Oh, there it is right there. If I click it, could not open the text file. So it does not open it with the correct app automatically. That's pretty weird considering this should all be solved with desktop stuff. Tweaks, post market tweaks. Sound, so I guess you can add some sound effects. These looks like extra settings that don't have a UI yet. Okay, this is bad. Disk unlocker. Don't know what that is. About information about the phone. That's nice. Fonts. All right. Let's go back to the updater and see what happens to this phone. Half the time it tends to break these things because they are so unstable. Let's open it from here. Oh, it did reopen it. Update on. Loading updates. Oh. Was that really a system update? No idea. So we close them by sweep, sweeping up. I guess you have, if you have more apps, you can scroll up and down. What is this? Okay. Search. Did I just move those around? Okay, it looks like you can drag them by... Okay, you can drag the items around. That's kind of nice. Sort of nice. Okay. Yes. And last little note, if you do the volume, it makes a little sound effect. Mac West like sound effect, which is kind of cute, kind of cute. Ooh, we got emojis. So 2020. I think that's it. This, this. All right, this was the gnome shell on the PinePhone Pro. This is okay, you can see things. It's not optimized yet. Fosh is very buttery smooth right now. This is not, it's chunky, it might just be the OS, it might be the progress. Um, it's not for me. I can't use it for my day-to-day -day life because I need to actually be able to input Japanese to all of my loved ones. But for you, it might be good. Um, next, next time I'm gonna be demoing the current state of Ubuntu Touch. If you're curious, stay around. And if you have any thoughts on this, feel free to leave some comments below. I will be happy to read them and I'll be happy to try out any other uh, Linux OSs you recommend on this. All right, thank you, bye. -bye.